Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Cataclysm. In the last episode we saw poor Jonathan die. Uh, that's uh, that's sad. I'm just doing a bit of a setting here to make the mouse cursor disappear if I use any keys. There we go. So, um, we are on the newest patch 500 which uh, has the new world factor in it. Which means, basically, you have multiple worlds now. That is awesome. But it's also a bit inconvenient, because at the moment, preset characters are not working. So these uh, presets don't actually work. So I can't use the preset bow hunter that I want to. But I will make a new character and show you what it is I'm looking for. I will have a strength of 14, dex of 12, perception of 12. This is so that I get zero bonus for ranged. Then I want to be a fast healer. Addictive personality, far-sighted glass jaw, who is lightweight, near-sighted, and also ugly. He was a bow hunter. I think. Let's see. Which is survivalist? will be one point short. Actually, let's go with Survivalist, since it gives me a backpack to start with. I'll have less archery, but I can live with that. I'm gonna lower my perception by... No, dexterity by one. Gets a little bit of a ranged bo uh, disability here. I do want to lower this one, actually. 12 is good enough for most bows. 13 is still a good strength. I mean... Carry weight 69 instead of 65. Yeah, I will do it with this. Now, I don't pick any skills. But with survival list, I get survival, I think. One point or something. So, uh, let's start the history of this guy. If I don't... Okay, that's a common name. That I recognize that. Uh, if I don't like the start, however, we will make a new world. And I will do that off camera until I get a uh, world that I like in that case, but Jacob Jacobson, that was boring. Hmm, Evan Moore. Evan Moore. Sure, we'll go with Evan. And let's just enter the game. But now there are no valid worlds, so we need to make one. This is a bit of a difficult one. Black Road means that zombies will spawn in the shelter with you. Could be a very painful start, so we're not gonna go with that. Um, I'm using a long season setup, um, which will make winter a lot more tricky to survive, but also gives me much more time to explore. Um, static NPCs, no, but static spawn, yes. Int cap, yes. So I'll go with this, and this will be Tiv's world. And we will generate this. I am playing with another tile set now. It's uh, a tile set made by H. Rose on the Cataclysm forums. It's an ASCII retro tile set. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Let's see, he has a backpack, some glasses, some fitting clothes, a pocket knife, which I will rename it to G, because I like to have it on G. And what do we have here? We have, to the west, an abandoned storefront. There is another shelter in the south. This is a hotel. We have some doctor's offices, hardware store, parking lots, and we start in the middle of things. I'm pretty sure that there will be zombies just outside of here, so I'm going to hurry up and get myself at least a pipe. So I can spot a spitter zombie already. Is there a stone nearby? I will need to make a crowbar. Quickly. Makeshift crowbar. Reassign to C and wield it. So, we are a go. I'm gonna stay with this, I think. It's a good enough. Uh, save this car it's looking alright except that it's missing an engine 
Hmm. This is an electric car. A solar panel there. Okay, this one is working. We might be in luck. I mean, if this works... No, the electric motor is dead. Oh well. So, we need to figure out how to do this. It looks like a fairly okay area. So, let's get that zombie in there closer. Let's just take a look at our character first though. He starts out with survival skill and a little bit of fabrication. Um, and he has cargo shorts, boots, blazers, t-shirt, socks, backpack and bifocal glasses. So I'm going to play this game in a semi-RP way. I am not going to power play it, but I will be practicing stuff and I probably will do more of a relaxed playstyle. So let's uh, get that zombie. A few well rounded hits to the face. That works. Let's uh, butcher that one. A sledgehammer. Large, heavy hammer. Hmm. I want to try that one. Wield. I mean, if I look at it, my sledgehammer has 195 moves per attack with a great bash there. The crowbar has a 101. So let's get the boomer. Oh, he will get through here. Let's get him through to that window. With the sledgehammer. Wow. Okay. Um, I will need to get this boomer defect off of me. Ouch. I quite like this tile set. Whoa, that's bright. What is on the floor? It's bile splatter. It's not dangerous, at least. 24 damage. 19 damage. Ow. He died. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. So, definitely liking the sledge. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing a fair deal of damage. Sure, it is very heavy. I'm already using up a lot of my weight capacity here. There's another zombie there. It's not too bad to start this area, but we need to clear out one of these houses to have as our base. Uh, there will be a lot of zombies around. Um, also, the pool over there might be a good place to aim for as, uh, well, the area around to keep as my base because of the access to water. So let's get that zombie. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um. Bashing weapons are going up. Melee is higher. Dodging too. I need to butcher up some corpses. There should be another zombie corpse. Oh, it's on the other side here. There we go. What do we have here? Um, I'm gonna sort by category. Oh, we can sort by weight as well? Volume? Charges. This will help me when I'm looking for stuff. Um, category is the best for me. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can... Okay, there's a spitter down there. Not too worried about that one. What do we have here? Some more bifocal glasses. Might as well pick them up. Oh, batteries are also useful. There are some... Useful items here, like the lighters, the utility vest is very good. So, let's wear that one. Although, it should be noted that this will encumber me, because it does not fit. We'll have to arrange that once I get some tailoring skill up. That's a lot of zombies. It is also in the game now to um, 
Oh, a towel. Very good. Uh, it is also in the game now to uh, block off doors and such. So zombies cannot get through. Bleach, water, vitamins. I can always take these and eat one of them now. I want to keep my vitamin intake high. Okay, I want to lure that spitter zombie over here. I think it is going to be spitting at me. Wow. That was pretty awesome. So, with a reeling hit, I hit him like 50 damage. Wow. Okay. Where'd you go, zombies? You coming this way? So, a bit of story. Evan Moore. He... Uh, well, he was visiting town. He's not really from this town. He's not really from any of town in this area, but he was passing through on the... Uh, uh, since he was exploring the area in New England, which he hasn't visited yet. He likes to hike. Uh, he has absolutely no problem with being out in the wilds. I need to be more careful because these can actually hit me. Yeah, so he's uh, he, he, he's a hiker. He, he loves the outdoors and he spent quite a lot of time outdoors. Now, he was visiting this town to pick up provisions so he could head out into the wild and gather up some experience there. But then the zombie apocalypse struck. Where will you be when the zombie uh, apocalypse hits? Exactly my thought. Oh, a pocket watch. Does it work? Yes, it does. Lighter. So, one of these houses are going to have to be a good place to stay. You bit me. Ow. Sent him flying out. Ooh, a zombie soldier. Where are you? There he is. Well, I need to butcher this. A sewing kit will be very good. The hammer might work. Though I do have a sledge. Doesn't that work? Hmm... Now, the zombie soldier has not yet found its way over here. Nice, very nice. A screwdriver as well. Wow, we are really gearing up on uh, items here. We will want to find ourselves one thing though. Either a working car. Doesn't look like we are any luck here um, flatbed truck no engine what about that one this one has an engine it's an ambulance but it's missing wheels so that's not gonna work what about that one he has an engine missing wheels no engine so you have to b build your own car really in this game um, no corpses nope I'll continue exploring this house. Uh, it's a bit of getting used to the new tiles for me. Probably for you as well. But, ooh. Did I get a flashlight? No. There's no flashlight here either. Because these stairs lead down into a basement area. And I don't want to exp... What? What just happened? That can't be right. That's not where I went. 
That is very odd, and I'm just hit by a brute here. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to file a bug for that. Where are we? So, I was in this area, right? Yep. Yeah. And going down this and back up again put me in another room. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to happen, but okay, it's a bug. Gonna have to live with it, and oh, the boomer exploded. I am pretty much covered in bile. Anyhow, guys, uh, with that odd bug, that's what you get for playing uh, experimental builds. Oh, a bondage suit wall. A backpack. Another one might be a good plan to stock up on, in case the other one is broken. Anyhow, guys, I will continue this in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.